My man Frank, what's up, bro? Frank is an investor from New York, and he wants to invest in cash flow real estate. But what we're doing is we're going to move Frank out of state, right? Why? Because the New York housing market's insanely overpriced. The tenant regulations are nuts. So what I'm going to do, what I do, folks, is I help people like you, Frank. I help you invest your money in markets where it makes sense. And today, I got a duplex, very low cost. I'm going to go over the market, go over what's going on, give you the information you need to make an educated decision, and then my team will manage it on the ground. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and what I do here is work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you invest in real estate, right? Affordable real estate, real estate that makes sense. Real estate like this beautiful house right here. This thing is a cash cow. You know what market rent is on this sucker? 800 a unit, folks. Look at that. 800, 800, 1600, 19,200, right? This is in Cleveland, Ohio, 2007 Broadview Road, the old Brooklyn neighborhood, man. My team has hundreds of these kinds of properties in this area, right? Now, if you go a little further, right, what does that look like? The 1600 you don't get to keep all that, right? You have to spend approximately half of that operating the property, having my team operate the property for you, right? This is a good illustration of what the fixed and variable expense estimates are going to look like, right? I believe you're probably going to come in netting almost $10,000 a year, right? This thing is looking freaking good. Now, what is so nice about this one and what's important about this property, you guys have to understand, this being in Cleveland, Ohio, it's going to go under the new Cleveland lead paint regulations, okay? Those are huge. Anybody investing in the Cleveland market needs to understand these new lead paint regulations. As a matter of fact, if you've never heard of this these lead paint regulations, this law is completely new to you. Don't worry, you're not alone. It is very, very new. Uh, people are having trouble getting on board with it, understanding it. Don't worry, that's what I'm here for. That's what my team is here for. In the show notes below, I want you to check out this video. I talk about certifying your Cleveland rental properties, handling things, right? Watch that. It's like 25, 30 minutes long. goes over the new process, right? This property will fall under that because every rental property in the city of Cleveland will. But this one, folks, I do not anticipate you having any issues getting this thing lead certified, right? Now, some properties, uh, if you go in, that's why it's so important to do your due diligence. That's why this show is so important, right? If you're out there in another state, I'm here to help you guys. You guys need to know what's coming along the pike, right? This property has not gone through the lead certification process. Uh, it will need to be done later in the year, right? So you need to have somebody who can help you identify, will this have issues, will it not? This one probably won't have very many issues. They might have some minor issues, but it'll be freaking spit in the pan man and nothing okay look at this this is a brand new garage they built a brand new garage and they vinyl sided it they just vinyl sided the house as well right uh two things two things that are huge for lead-based paint violations in the city of cleveland exterior wood siding with peeling paint windows this property took care of it all fresh brand spanking new siding Freaking, I don't know how brand new, but like very recently new vinyl windows. Those are the two biggest pain points, folks. If you try to buy a property in the city of Cleveland and it's got wood siding, you need to get a discount to accommodate for the fact that you're going to have to every two years scrape and paint that thing or drop like 15 G siding the property. If you buy a property in the city of Cleveland that does ha not have the vinyl windows, you need to plan to replace those in the coming years to continue getting your lead certs because the cost is primarily going to be in those two areas. This property, we don't have to deal with that. On top of that, this property also has uh, like a two or three-year-old roof, right? And we got two existing tenants. Now, I told you the market rent's 800 Both of these tenants are on month-to-month -month leases. They're paying like seven. So it'll be fairly easy 
uh, to slowly increase them up, right? And it's got newer electrical, right? So this is a pretty nice deal. And with the fact that this has got some of those big ticket items taken care of, the vinyl siding, uh, the vinyl windows, and the fact that there's so many properties out in the city of Cleveland right now that are going to have like big time lead costs in this one, you pretty much get to avoid it all. I anticipate this one moving immediately, right? So what I'm going to need you to do, if you want to take it down, I think we got to go above list. I believe the proper price point for this one's going to be 115 K. We drop 115 K meaning we only got to spend 31 and a quarter bank kicks in 86 and a quarter. That should project out to a long-term 17% cash on cash return. Solid neighborhood, folks. Old Brooklyn is the area where Holton Wise has the most highly densely populated uh, pocket of our management portfolio, right? It's in there. I literally have freaking hundreds and hundreds of duplexes just like this one. And this one, again, is standing far and above some of the other ones because the big issues are taken care of. The only thing that I think you're going to really run into uh, when it comes time for the lead certs on this property later in 2022 is going to be uh, this front porch, right? You're going to have to probably scrape and paint this, right? Because you see some peel and paint here. But other than that, there's no wood surfaces on the exterior of the home that should see any issues, right? So for all you folks out there that are investing in Cleveland, you're like, man, these new lead paint regulations, man, screw these. I don't want to deal with these. You shouldn't think of it that way. You should think of uh, either avoiding properties that are going to have problems. This one is not one of those, number one. Or number two, if you are buying a property that's going to have problems, you need to understand how much those problems are going to cost and get the seller to discount that price appropriately. What is scary is people out there right now buying properties like this one. Say this property was listed at the same price and it didn't have the vinyl siding or the vinyl windows, and then the seller doesn't tell you it's not lead certified, and you don't know that you're going to have to get it lead certified because that's a brand new law, and then you pay full freight, and then bang, you get hit with like $25,000, $35,000 worth of costs by the time you clear up all your lead issues, uh, do your vinyl siding, do all your windows, do this or that. That's when you're really going to get caught holding the bag, right? So that's why anybody investing in the Cleveland market, if you are doing so without first coming here, to Holton Wise TV without getting yourself an MLS search and analysis show on the properties to do the proper due diligence. Man, you are going to be in the water without a paddle, baby. That's what I do. I'm here to help you. Let me know what you want to offer on this property. I recommend at least 115. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.